a, a, a tri part a tri open government in place, and the legislature decides what the laws are, and the judiciary interprets the law. They don't make new laws. If you want to make new laws, you go to Tallahassee, you go to Washington, D.C. You don't make new laws in the courts. Activist judges are a are a blight on the system for trying to create new laws in their courtroom the way they think justice ought to be. That's not their role. If the law is constitutional, the judge has a duty to abide by that law and enforce that law. If he doesn't like it or she doesn't like it, that's not the role of the judge to change the law. Activist judges changing the laws in the courtroom means that on the third floor you have one justice system, on the sixth floor you have a different justice system, in courtroom 10, you have one justice system. In courtroom 7, you have a different justice system. That's when the system falls apart. So I disagree with my three colleagues up here on the dais. Activist judges are a blight on the system. Judges need to be restrained. If you're going to change laws, you do it in Tallahassee. If Tallahassee writes a law that's unconstitutional, it's the judge's duty to call it unconstitutional and strike it down. And we've seen that recently. You notice that the, the same-sex marriage issues in Florida, it's the circuit court judges who are striking it down. That's the role of the judge. If a law comes in and this is not the right law, then the judge strikes it down. But it's not the role of the judge to create new law in the courtroom. That's an activist judge, and that's wrong. That's not the system that we designed. It's not the system that's been working for 200 years. Thank you.